Hey, what's up, you guys? Filmfan0599 here again. <clears throat> and welcome back to the universe of the Blue Tubers. And today on the universe of the Blue Tubers, I'm going to be reviewing Green Day's Warning. So, Green Day's Warning was a 2000 released album, and this was the band's sixth studio album. And, you know, this album is really interesting. What I mean by that is that kind of it's an album that really gets flown under the radar a lot. Like a lot of people, you know, uh, review-wise it was kind of mixed. And commercial-wise, like sales-wise, it didn't do all that well. It's the band's lowest selling album to date. Which sucks big time because this album is really fantastic. Like it really is. It's one of my, it's like in my top five favorite albums from Green Day. It's so great. It really gets overlooked a lot, like this album. This album is really fantastic. It has much more of a folk, kind of punk feeling to it, and it works with this album. Like, it really does. This is the direction that they were trying to go with. Go with what, like, kind of like what they did with Nimrod, like, a much more experimental. They pushed it even further, I think, with Warning, and... They did an absolutely great job with it. I love Warning a lot. Like, this is an album that I think gets very, very overlooked a lot. It's really, really underrated. I love Warning so much. But let's get into why I love this album so much. First being the production. The production is great on this album. Like I said, it's a much more kind of folky, kind of, you know, punk vibe of an album, really. Like, they go into a much folk direction with this album it actually really works like you know the most folky sounding songs on this album are church on sunday hold on and jackass those are like the three most folky sounding songs on this album and really that feeling of that like kind of folk vibe with it kind of really works a lot with this album i really do think it really works with the tone of this album it's used very perfectly in my opinion with this album um, Billy Joe Armstrong sounds great with his vocals on this album. He does an absolutely great job. You know, his vocal work is very, very great. His guitar playing is especially great on this album as well. Really shines a lot on this album. Uh, Mike Dern's bass lines really do shine as well on this album. Like, for example, um, you know, Warning, Warning especially, like Warning, Minority, um, Waiting, Church on Sunday, uh, was it, Castaway. The, really, he, you know, there's a reason why he's my all-time favorite bass player, and this, this is one of the many examples of it. You know, Warning really does show that this dude is really talented with the bass. Like, it's really great. Like, I love his bass work on this album. Uh, Trum's drumming is great. I absolutely love his drumming on this album. He does a really solid job with it. So, yeah, the production is just really great. All the band members do a really fantastic job on this album. So, let's now get into the songs, because, you know, we got a lot of songs, we got some songs to talk about. Let's first talk about Warning, the actual title track with this album. And, uh, this was the first time, actually, Green Day used a, uh, title track, really. You know, because with the previous albums, they really didn't. So, this was the first time they actually used the title track for their album. And, Warning, the song, is really great. I really love this song a lot. You know, it was definitely one of my, it was one of my favorites for a long time. Like, one of my all-time favorite Green Day songs. It still is, I still love the song a lot. It's definitely one of the best off of this album. Really starts off the album really well, in my opinion. Like, just that, you know, the bing, bing, ding, 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 Like, just that, just the whole, you know, guitar rhythm and bass rhythm with that song. It's really great. Although, yes, it sounds very much like Picture Book by, it sounds like Picture Book by The Kinks. It really does sound like that. But, you know... You know, what can you do, really? But it does sound great. I really love it a lot. Like, just, like, kind of the groove, the, you know, the, um, with the guitar and the bass, it's really great with that song. Really, they have a good kind of blend with each other. It's, you know, I really like that a lot. And really, the song talks about kind of ignoring all the warning signs and just kind of living your own life and living just freely, if you know what I mean. And... I love a lot of the lyrics to this song. A lot of the lyrics are fantastic to this song. I think they're great. You know, another song that really has a good kind of um, guitar and bass kind of mixture together. Like a good, you know, um, 
like good chemistry with each other is the song Jackass, which I think kind of gets overlooked a lot from this album. Jackass is a really great song, has a great guitar rhythm. Like when you hear that acoustic guitar in the beginning of the like when you just hear the uh, acoustic guitar in the beginning and then all the instruments come in, it's so great. I love it. It's so. It's so folky sounding, it's really, really fantastic. Like, the, you know, the guitar and bass rhythm with that and the mixture of that is really great. I really love that a lot. The chemistry with that is quite fantastic. I love Jackass a lot. It's definitely a song that really gets overlooked on this album. A lot of the songs, actually, on this album get really overlooked. And the saxophone solo, like, in the middle of the song is great. I love it. It's so fantastic. Like, this is one of those songs you could just, like, dance like a fool to. It really is. And it's so great. So, yeah. Uh, other songs, like, Blood, Sex, and Booze and Church on Sunday, like, those songs are great, too. I love those a lot. Especially Church on Sunday. Church on Sunday, really, you know, that kind of talks about someone who's in a relationship with a girl, but she's really Catholic and the other dude well the dude in the relationship is not really at all and he, he's willing to kind of do anything to be with this girl because he loves this girl a lot but you know religious beliefs and whatever and it's really great like I love the chorus to it you know if I go to church on Sunday will you go with me on Friday night yo if you die if you live with me I'll die for you and it's compromised like I love that chorus it's such a catchy chorus like you can always catch me whenever this song is on you can catch me like, sing along to it. It's so, so great. Like, I love that song a lot, too. You know, um, one of the other kind of big singles released off this album was, uh, Waiting. Waiting is a very great song, too. Like, it has one of my all-time favorite openings to any Green Day song, when, you know, you hear the guitar and you hear Billy sing, I've been waiting a long time for this moment to come. I'm destined for anything at all. Like, when you hear that, just, it starts off the song so well. Like, it's one of the best openings Green Day has ever done to a song, really. Like, I just love how that song opens up. Like, it's so, so great. And then when, you know, you hear all the instruments come in, like Mike with the bass and then Trey with the drums, it's so great. And it's such a, just a kind of somewhat uplifting song, really. Like, you can just listen to it. You can be in the downness of moods and you can just listen to it, to this. It will just bring your spirits up. Like, it's just one of those songs to me. And, you know, like, really, I think what the song really talks about is about a guy that's kind of who is, you know, has this opportunity. He's been waiting for it for a long time. He's go, going to go headstrong at it to chase that opportunity. That's really what I think this song is about. And it's really great. Like, I really love it a lot. I could definitely tell why they went with this as, a, like, kind of one of the big singles off of this album. And it's so, so great. And... And then the other song I have to talk about, Minority. Minority is one of my all-time favorite songs. Not just one of my favorite Green Day songs, but just one of my all-time favorite songs just in general. Minority. Jesus Lord, like, this song is so perfect. Like, this is the perfect song. Like, when you hear the acoustic guitar in the beginning, and then just all the instruments come in and you just hear that chorus of I don't want you know I want to be the minority I don't need your authority like just those lyrics the guitar work the bass line the, the, the damn bass line from Mike Dern just everything about the song is so great and really that's what kind of the song is about being a minority being you know your own person don't let kind of you know let people tell you who to be be your own person, be the minority, like, that's what really that song kind of talks about, and it's really great, I think anybody can really relate to that song, honestly, because, you know, you want to be your own person, you don't want to be like everyone else, and that's what really that song, that song talks about, and it's just so great, everything about it is just so perfect, from Bully's vocals, to the guitar work, to, you know, Mike's bass line, or, drum, or Trey's drumming, and the lyrics are great too. I really love the lyrics a lot to this song. It really is definitely some of the best lyrics Green Day has ever written in a song. It's so great and so fun to listen to. Like, whenever I heard this album for the first time, definitely Minority was the song that I gravitated the most to. Like, this was the song I listened to the most. I listened to this like on a constant repeat a lot. And it's definitely my favorite, it's without question my favorite song off this album. Anytime I hear it, I never get sick of it. It's so, so great, and it's just so fun to listen to. 
And Macy's Day Parade, the closing track to this album, oh, closing track to this album, really ends the album. I kind of have a really nice note, actually. And really, this song talks about kind of dealing with, you know, growing up, you know, dealing with your problems and uh, deceptions growing up and kind of finding a way around them. And it's really great. Like, I really love the also the opening line to the song, you know, today's the Macy's Day Parade, the night of the living dead, it's on its way. Like, it's just so great. And really what mostly accompanies this song is an acoustic guitar, really. Like, you hear drumming and then bass at some point, but really what accompanies this song the most is an acoustic guitar. It's just really great. The lyrics are great to the song. It's a really nice song to end off this album, really. And I love it a lot. Definitely a nice closing track. Overall, Warning is really fantastic. The only song I don't really care for off of Warning is Fashion Victim. Like, th that's okay, that song. Like, the guitar rhythm is really great with that song, but kind of Billy's vocals and the uh, lyrics to that song are just kind of, eh, really. That's what really kind of you know, kind of makes me iffy on that song, really. But, yeah, that's really the only song I don't care for. Songs like Misery and Hold On, I actually do like a lot, unlike most people. Like, Misery has kind of like this carnival vibe to it, and it's really cool. And Hold On is very catchy to me. Like, I love the harmonica to that song. Like, it's very folky sounding. I just really like it a lot. So, yeah. So, yeah, overall, Green Day's Warning is a very underappreciated album, I feel like. I feel like a lot of people kind of overlook this a lot, to be honest. It's definitely a very, very underrated album. I love it a lot. So, yeah, Green Day's Warning, great. So, aside for my official rating on Green Day's Warning, my official grade, my official rating on Green Day's Warning is a 4.5 out of 5. It's a fantastic album. I really do think... You know, it really gets overlooked. If you're trying to get into Green Day's discography and, you know, you've heard some kind of mixed things about this album, just go ahead and listen to it. I think you might find some enjoyment out of it. I love it a lot. It's definitely one of my favorite Green Day albums. I love it so, so much. Definitely deserves a four and a half out of five. So if you have listened to Green Day's Warning, what did you think of it? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm Film Fan 0599 and we'll see you all later. Peace.